Let's balance the equation for HNO3 plus Li2S. We'll also look at the type of reaction and the states. So we have nitric acid and lithium sulfide here. Let's take a look at the type of reaction first. It looks like the hydrogen ends up with the sulfur and the lithium and the nitrate there together. So that's going to be a double displacement reaction. That's the type of reaction. To balance the reaction, let's count the atoms up. We'll use a bit of a trick here to make it easier. We have one nitrogen, and then this whole thing here, this nitrate ion, NO3, we have it here and here. Since we have it on both sides, this is a polyatomic ion, we're just going to say we have one nitrate ion, two lithiums, and then the one sulfur. Product side, two hydrogens, we have one nitrate ion, one lithium, and one sulfur. So that makes it a lot kind of easier and neater. You get the same answer either way. This is just faster. Let's see. We could update the hydrogens by putting a 2 in front of the nitric acid. 1 times 2, that would give us two of those. But the 2, it goes to everything. So we have 2 times the 1 nitrate. That gives us two nitrates. Let's put a 2 in front of the lithium nitrate because we have one lithium times two. That would balance the lithiums. And then we have the one nitrate times two. That would balance the nitrates. And we're done. This is the balanced equation for HNO3 plus Li2S. If you wanted to write the states, they would look like this. Nitric acid, that's a strong acid. That's soluble. Lithium sulfide is soluble, although it would hydrolyze into LiOH and H2S. But still, we're going to just leave this as aqueous here. We have this H2S. This could be a gas. It could stay dissolved, so we could say it was aqueous. And then lithium nitrate, nitrates, very soluble. That would be aqueous. It's Dr. B with the balanced equation and type of reaction for nitric acid plus lithium sulfide. Thanks for watching.